today we have uh, a little Christmas present that I'm gonna open up. Um, it seems to be a no-name brand, a uh, little hand crank, solar power, um, weather band, AM, FM radio. Uh, it says you can use it to charge your charge your phone. Um, charge it with a solar panel, the hand crank, um, you can charge it with uh, like a cell phone charger, has a little, cool little flashlight and all that stuff. Um, the only thing, as far as a model number it shows is uh, this, it's HY088WB, it's in the box here. Some, um, looks like got some instructions here. For subsequent charges, 130 RPMs. So, um, more than twice a second. So this is all that. Um, I have charged it up a little. We'll take the antenna out a little bit. Turn her on. And you can tell it's Christmas time. It must be on AM. Yeah, and then go to the weather band. Here. Range one point eight. There you go. Shell Island at Oceans Alliance Bay. High tide is at nine PM today. Low tide is at noon. So it works. Um let's see. Let's see if we can tell. So there's the charging ports. Now where did it say it said it was IP IP rated? There you go, waterproof, waterproof IPX3. So I don't think that's much. It's definitely not submerged. I'll have to look up the specifics on that. Um, but let's hook up something to charge uh, and we'll see what kind of, what kind of voltage it puts out. Let's see if it's stable. Before we take it apart. So I got a um, Kamashi 10,000 milliamp hour um, battery bank. Um, this is cool. I have two of these. I keep them marked. Thing one and uh, the other one's thing two. Um, it has a good bit of charge. So that top light goes off. So it's at about 75% or whatever. Um, this little thing it shows you the volts and milliamp hours that goes in. Um, so we got it hooked up in line with the, the bank that we're trying to charge. And uh, so let's plug this in and see what she does. Alright, so... Five volts, a little bit more than half an amp. Not too bad. I'll let that go for a little while. See what it uh, see what it comes out to. I'll just let it go for a little while and see what uh, how much this thing will give out. So I flip things around and uh, put this to be charged and this thing is doing the charging so right about um, a little bit less than half an amp that it's taken um, yeah so I don't know how much it would take we'll t probably test that later but let's take it apart 
there's a little screw at the bottom. We're going to take that out because that seems to be a battery compartment of some kind. Oh, yeah. A little bit of lithium polymer. Okay. So, looks like we have one, two, three, three other screws on the back. And it should just pry apart. Oh, it has a uh, flashlight. Forgot to mention that. Not too bad. Alright, let's get into it. So, three screws in the back, and we're in. I did want to say, you know, kudos to this no-name brand um, manufacturer. Um, probably the one user-serviceable part that's on this thing. The only thing that would probably need to be replaced ever is the battery. And they made a reasonably convenient battery compartment that looks like I could just take it out. Um, so, kudos to them on that. Alright, let's see how this thing's going to come apart. Let's see. There was one screw under, hidden under the little handle thing right there. So, I think we're in. Um, basically, the case just split apart. Um, this thing came out once we undid both the sides. So, there's a little reflector, three LEDs, and then this guy. I guess that's a little tuner. For the radio, you can see the the gear in there. So let's see if I can get it. All right, we're in. Um, little connector on the board that goes to the speaker. Uh, this little track thing tells you what uh, which frequency you're on in the band. Uh, it's controlled. It's moved by this little thing. So. Whenever I put it back together, I'm going to put this all the way to one side, put the track all the way to one side, that way it should line up pretty good. Um, so, a couple of LED lights that are on the front. This is a little uh, solar panel. It has a glass, a little plastic cover on it. Uh, and this is the battery. So, there's nothing... There's nothing ridiculous keeping the battery in there, so um, I mean this is this is accessible from the bottom port, from the bottom little little panel. Um, so there's nothing special about that. Um, just a generic 1,000 milliamp hour battery. That's the model number and everything. So if ever you needed to replace it, uh, looks like you should be able to. Uh, looks like there's charging circuitry built into the battery, so. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can t move the uh, circuit board and look at the dynamo mechanism. So it looks like the board is fastened to the back plate a little bit. But you can see that's the, uh, that's the tumbler right there. Oh, that's the, the rotator for the dynamo. The big old gear. Big old gear that moves that. Cool stuff. All right, let's put it back together and uh, make sure it works and all that jazz. Back in business. Seems to be working. Um, the, eh, didn't really go back together all that well. Uh, I did have to use some unnecessary force to get it apart, so that's not um, that's not too much of a concern. I did look up the IP X3. Um, the X position that that where that digit goes is for dust ingression. Um, the other the, the three denotes it can deal with uh, spraying water of a particular pattern. So, um, so I decided to let the thing charge up. Looks like it took 
about an hour and 45 minutes and we got up to 901 milliamp hours so um, on a thousand milliamp hour battery it took 900 um, after letting it drain all night with the light on and the radio playing so now we'll um, we'll put it on a drain test this is my old phone it's old uh, Galaxy S3 it's um, dead as a doornail doesn't even um, come on or anything when you press power there's like a 3500 hour 3500 milliamp hour battery in here so we'll see uh, how much that thing can throw into it so we'll get that set up real quick so it'll push half an amp into it um, we'll leave this run till it stops and then uh, we'll see how much the uh, how much this little thing was able to put out. All right, so we're back after some time. Looks like the battery's dead in this thing. Now it'll remember how much juice it gave it. So we turn it back on. So it looks like it charged right at about 482 milliamp hours so it put 482 milliamp hours into this battery which yep so that's cool so we put 901 901 milliamp hours into this and we got 484 back out so looks like we're at 34% battery so if you're ever in a jam and this thing is fully charged you can get enough to hopefully get you a phone call out and call for help or whatever looks like Amazon has some similar models um, going for about 20 to 30 bucks um, this one's a little different and this one seems to be branded of some kind uh, and this one's yeah, I gotta figure for 30 bucks, there's probably some better options out there, maybe with more functionality, maybe with a bigger battery. Um, now, I did see this. So, you can buy 2,000 of these, that's the exact one, for $8.20 a piece. Um, minimum orders, 2,000, but they're making 30,000 of these a month, so... Um, yeah. Not too bad.